Right, today we are playing with rusty rubbing strokes. Look at this. It's not been continuously welded. This has been impacted back. The strake stayed where it is. It's opened up that gap, let the rot and the water and that in. The water's got behind it, started to rot it. Um, surveyor has requested that it just be repaired where it's worse. I mean, there's a few little areas. So I'm gonna choose this first area here. I'm gonna cut this little section out where he's marked off with his chalk here. I'm gonna remove that and we're gonna inspect the steel behind it. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be solid and it's just sort of like rusted and pushed away. We'll have to wait and see, Just, I just can't tell. So, cutting. Right, I'm gonna trim this out, mask down, wheel on. Turn mask onto cut setting. Gets me every time. Grind. Now the little sparks won't make my shield go dark. Right, let's try again. And here. So this one. Right, chisel, hammer, give her a little tickle. Tiny bit more down the bottom. Bastard. That's why we have our mask on now. Right, so I've got me a bit of strike off. So I'm going to give that a clean up. Just, just trying to save. Save a bad situation, really. Put a bit more life into an old boat. Cleaning. See what we got. All right, there we go. That actually looks quite a lot better. I mean, it is still very badly pitted. And that area, that pitted off area, will be in effect plated over by the rubbing stroke. Um, might do a little bit of pit filling along the bottom of it. I think that's um, that's going to be the way to go, really. A very, very old boat. Repeat that in these various places. Try and take away the worst of it. It's a plan. All right, giving this a clean up. To go back on. Blacking. Clean this up. I've got some new pieces of rubbing straight coming along, so I don't think I'm going to end up being quite so lucky with some of it. Um, get that back in now. I'm going to tack that into place for the time being, then I'll continuously weld it along the top, continuously weld it along the bottom, down the ends, black it, job done. Wait. Right, so there's my first piece tacked back on. Could go around, get all the other bits tacked, cut off, tacked, do the same as that, weld them all up, um, and then we can all get on with black in it. Lovely. Looks better though, sitting tighter now. By the time I've got it welded up, sealed down these ends here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Cut a little pit so I'll take care of anything that's poking out below the bottom of that strike. That's about the best we can do, really, without spending like millions of pounds. Yeah. Here's me a couple of repaired bits. All we've got to do now 
pretty much up for that. Good as known. Alright, big tub gear. Little roller. Although I, I keep on asking the question why we're using little ones and not big ones. But um, yeah, crack on. Plenty of that. I always put a little dent in my tin just to give me something to roll on. Eh? Get it on now. Lovely. Easy as that. Right, so here we are. First coat of blacking on now. Trim round. All the way round. So we'll come back tomorrow, give it another coat, and uh, back in the water for a temporary couple of days. And I'm going to go and sort that boss out. Happy days. Right, it's definitely home time now. I've had enough. <laughs> 